can you just give us a little bit of history of when you first started playing the guitar? Hmm, where did it all begin? My name is Sean, and this is my brand new Charvel signature. I think I wanted to get a guitar originally because me and my mates, we do a lot of skating together. And I remember that the friends that I hung out with, they'd go and have band practice and they'd all practice in this, uh, like this little chapel. And I felt super left out. I'm like, what, whatever you guys are fucking doing in there, I need to be part of it. So that's when I asked my parents, I'm like, look, I need a guitar. They got me a Squire Stratocaster and I've still got the neck of that first ever guitar. So you can now buy this. Jesus, man. Signature. <laughs> Over time, as I really got into it and started actually learning like different kinds of music and stuff, then that's when the addiction kind of began. I think everyone's got something inside them that is destined to be expressed, whether it's through music, whether it's through art, whatever it is. And it just so happened that the guitar was, I suppose, my vessel to do that. Um, and what makes this guitar so special for me is that it allows me to do that. You, when you've got an idea and you want to express it, you want it, you want to get it from your internals to the externals as smoothly as possible. And that's what this guitar does. It's like. It's almost like it's not there, so I've got an idea and it just flows straight out of that through the guitar. And not only that, the guitar itself inspires me. So I wanted to feel the same way that I felt when I was younger, when I was looking at guitars in the store. So I'd see these guitars that I wanted and I could already hear the kind of music or the kind of riffs or the leads and patterns that I wanted to play. So I, I wanted to like instill that kind of feeling into this guitar. Don't fucking. Where's my signature? Your hands better be clean. Where's your own signature? That's the end. We was in the middle of tracking, uh, and my guitar arrived. Um, I'd never seen it before. I never touched it. Never only just been designing it with Charvel, and then it arrived. I unboxed it, put it on, and I instantly wrote the solo, which is now in No Defeat for the Brave on our latest record. That day, within the hour, I wrote it then it went straight on the record. Um, and that's what this guitar does. It just, I put it on and I fucking write something cool. I've endowed it with that power. It's gonna do the same for the people. I want people to feel inspired. I want them to fucking write something, the best shit they've ever written. We all operate from the warehouse together, but I usually just fucking lock myself in this room. It's really just me and Nova that writes all the records. She gets to hear all the riffs before <laughs> before anyone else does, even before the band does. She gets the exclusive preview of all my riffs and stuff, so she gets an inside look, don't you? So I've got like the music thing where I get to attempt to externalize my like experiences, emotions or thoughts or whatever. And then with the drawing on the guitars, it's more like a visual thing. And sometimes I'll just write the first thing that comes to my mind before a show or just the way I'm feeling that day. Or sometimes it is lyrics. And then other times it's just like, I think we all have a lot of things that we want to say in day-to-day -day life that we just don't. You know, just say those things you want to say and this is a way for me to do it. I just write up my guitar and then I, I play in front of thousands of people and they get to see it. So they get to read it and it's open to interpretation so they can read it and they'll take something different from it. Which is cool, cool too because you'll never know why I've written a particular saying at that particular moment. So it's the same as music. There's no definite answer. It just is how you perceive it. It's how it is for you that day. And it's nice just to show people that it's not like, it's not the material things that matter, it's we make these things magic, not the other way around. So I think by drawing on it, I'm showing people that it's okay to like do whatever it takes to express yourself, do you know what I mean? And especially don't worry about keeping this shit tidy. I couldn't find the guitar I actually wanted and felt comfortable with. So I wanted to make that guitar. And what's really cool is I do that with the music I make too. We try and make a genre that doesn't exist. So we try and make the riffs that I'm not getting or the, you know, the lead patterns I can't hear in the scene or something. So it's the same thing with this guitar. I felt like in the guitar community, we, we needed a black hardtail, gloss black strap. But I also wanted to just add that little flicker of color, that little accent. So that's why I wanted the only bits to shine was this um, Lumo Yellow 57 here, and then the Charvel logo there. There's kind of nothing on this guitar that you won't use. There's no, there's not, you know, there's no tone knob because 
Anytime I've used a tone knob, it's been on full. I've never, I've never needed to use it, so I just took, I got rid of that. It's got a three selector pickup switch, and it's in a perfect position for me because the way I play, I need it on hand for the kind of switches that I do. Another aspect of the guitar is the Loom and Lay fret dots, which are just fucking cool as fuck in itself, and they're also useful. So, because it's active pickups, you need the battery to power them, and the nine volt access is just there. Epic. So. Whereas a lot of guitars before, you've got to fucking unscrew the scratch plate and get in the body and it just takes forever. That takes literally five seconds. I decided not to have fret dots on the front because, again, when I was growing up, when I ever saw a guitar with no fret dots on the front, I was always like, it just looked so like custom and fucking awesome. So I wanted to do that. That was just an artistic um, choice for me, really. I'm really a big believer in like changing things up in the pursuit of inspiration. So my entire career, I've been playing dark wood necks and like, rosewood neck so a darker color so just by seeing like a, a maple bright brighter wood on my eyes it, it literally inspires me it feels like a whole new fretboard uh, it's got the bolt on too uh, the bolt on neck and string through body hardtail bridge which is fucking incredible feature it's got charvel locking tuners like i'm throwing this around on stage like i'm jumping around i'm playing i'm digging into it like fuck with like so many different riffs and it just stays in tune it's razor sharp of course i had to go with emgs and the reason i wanted to do this like yellow pickup the, the reason being is most of my music and most of my playing is predominantly bridge pickup so most of the music that i create comes out this way so i really wanted it to feel like uh, the magic and the energy and just the whole vibe of whatever you're playing is kind of glowing and, and like the power's coming there, the energy's coming out of here and all the magic is situated there. So I wanted to kind of illustrate that. It's an officially licensed Fender headstock, so it's no imitation. This is all the real deal. You can't get anything like this. It's only through Charvel and Fender that you can get anything close to this. So this kind of quality only comes from here. If you could fucking transform me into a guitar, this is it. This is completely the embodiment of me and my my vibe completely and it's just it, i could fucking cry it's ridiculous and it scares me how how perfect it is it's exactly what i wanted it's, it, it feels the the way it was in my head it looks the way everything's too much so charvel have done a ridiculous job on it but the fact it's happened and the fact it's got my fucking name on it it's like it's just a reflection of what's possible man do you know what i mean like do, doing my own thing with this band and making my own music and standing behind it and it's just it just goes to show, man, if you really believe in something, just fucking go for it. This guitar has legitimately changed my life and I can only hope that it does the same for you guys.